Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this braided top knot. And I did stumble across a picture of a braided top knot somewhere on the internet. I'm not exactly sure where. It might have been on Pinterest. Probably on Pinterest. It did take me a couple times trying it before I got the hang of it, but it actually wasn't as difficult as I originally thought it was going to be. So uh, if you do want to try this with extensions, you totally can, but I didn't find it to be very hard to do without extensions. I have, you know, just below shoulder length hair, so pretty much wear a top knot bun when it's hot outside, when I'm in a rush, when I'm feeling lazy, pretty much any time. And this is a nice twist on it, especially for fall, I think, too. It has a bit of a whimsical type of, I don't know, feel to it. It's a little bit earthy with that, you know, the texture of the braids and everything. So I think this would be a nice way to switch up your regular old top knot bun for fall. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep watching if you want to see exactly how I did it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is gather my hair into a high ponytail because we want this to be a top knot. You can use a brush for this, but I'm just going to use my fingers so that it's a little bit more relaxed looking. Sometimes I will use a brush for the back though just to make sure those shorter pieces are included in our ponytail. Okay, then I'm just going to tie that with a regular old hair tie. Okay, so now I'm going to separate my ponytail into two side-by-side -side sections. So, just like that. I'm going to take this teasing comb and lightly tease up through one of the sections and fluff it up just so that it's a little bit bigger especially if you have shorter hair like I do and you're trying to make a bun out of two braids it's easier to do if the braids are bigger so teasing before you braid the section is gonna make it just a bit thicker okay so once we've gone through and fluffed up our section it's time to braid so I'm separating this piece into three strands and we're going to be doing just a regular old three strand braid. It took me a while to get the hang of braiding like this, like behind my head. I tried to do it straight up and down this way and it did not work out very well. There's a better view. Now I'm going to tie this braid with a clear rubber band because they're a lot less bulky and less visible than the regular hair ties that I normally use. Okay, so that is what you should have so far. And of course, we're just going to repeat the exact same process for this other section. So this next step is optional, but what I like to do is texturize my braids, pull them apart, make them nice and big. It's just a lot easier to work with them and mold them into a top knot or a bun shape. So I'm going to be using a texturizing powder. This is my Big Sexy Hair Pal Powder Play. I love this stuff. It is a volumizing and texturizing powder. Yep, don't be shy. Just tap some of that right onto there. And you can even scooch the hair tie down a little bit. Well, mine's on there pretty good. But if you need more room to pull apart your braid, you can always do that. They just become a lot easier to work with and pin down when they're a bit wider and thicker. You just want to kind of fan out these little individual pleats or plates. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, but you just want to just fan them out. So now I'm going to take my two sections and wrap them around the base of my ponytail to create the top knot. And I'm actually going to just clip down the sections first with these little mini claw clips. And I like to do that because, let's face it, a bobby pin is a big commitment. I like to just get the placement I want down with the clip and then you can go back in and pin it later. And there really is no perfect way to do this. I just start grabbing the pieces and just trying to finagle it a little bit. I am a true believer that your bun is what you make it. So you kind of have to be a bit of a sculptor and just show the bun who's boss. You know what I mean? Okay, so we've got the front down, I think. And then this is gonna come around the back. 
And again, just using a little temporary bobby pin, our little claw clip. Okay. Okay, so I have one section wrapped around the back. I have one wrapped around the front. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the back. Looks kind of weird right now, but we're going to pin it all together. So that's what I'm going to do right now is take out the claw clips. Take my bobby pins and just start securing the braids down. My baby hairs are just a little ridiculous today, as they are pretty much every day. Okay, so when you're doing this, you want to remember that you want to take, you know, you want the braid to be visible. So I'm actually going to pin the bottom edge of it to the rest of my hair so that it kind of sticks up like this and you can see it. I'm braiding the other piece, or pinning the other piece. <laughs> Done enough braiding for today. There's really no right way to do this, it's just kind of, you know, however you feel like it's going to look balanced. Then you just want to try to connect the sides of the braids a little bit so that you don't end up with the, what I like to call, the bird nest effect so that you have like, you know, the braids are wrapping around but you have a big hole right here. So what you want to do is just take the two edges of your braids and just try to cover it up at the top. So you're just pinching the braids together at the top and what you can even do is I'm taking this little clear mini claw clip and I'm going to come up. It's really hard to show this. I don't even think if I zoomed in it would be really easy to see but I'm going to try to explain it. I'm coming in from the bottom and I'm clipping those two pieces together with that clear clip so that it's literally inside the bun. <laughs> now it sounds like this is some kind of crazy rocket science but it's really just easy. You just shove a clip in there and clip the two pieces together so that you can't see inside of the top knot. So once you have the bun the way that you want it, you can hit it with some hairspray. I especially need to spray down my baby hairs in the front because they are just on another level today. So. I'm just gonna blast this straggler with some hairspray because I'm all out of bobby pins. I really hope you guys like this video and if you do try this out at home or if you try any of my looks that I do in videos, I love to see your interpretations of um, the looks that I do. So you can always send me a picture on Twitter or post a picture on Instagram and tag me at Makeup by Ali. So thank you guys so much for watching and I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!